Welcome to Health Source of Diamond Bar, California. Today's topic, when you're to the point of needing spinal decompression. Spinal decompression relieves pressure or compression on the spinal cord or spinal nerves. This is actually the same service on a non-invasive scale performed by a chiropractor. However, in some cases, nerve damage and compression have reached such a critical stage that chiropractic intervention is no longer the best option or even a possibility, as in the case of herniated discs. Surgery as a last resort. If you're at a stage where chiropractic treatment is still an option, I would always advise trying that first. Obviously, you want to make sure you find yourself a reputable chiropractor, but I would hazard a guess that the majority of them aren't quacks. Still, check references. Usually, you can tell legitimate from not just by visiting the office. Luckily, the medical profession seems to be getting away from doing surgery for everything, leaning more toward an as-needed philosophy and preferring to explore other methods first. As a trusted medical professional once told me, it's always best to keep all your parts if you can. I went to see a surgeon a few years ago when I had an enlarged lymph node that I thought she would have to biopsy and possibly remove. As it turned out, she didn't think the biopsy was necessary. The swollen node was linked to scar tissue from another biopsy performed in the vicinity. But I won't forget what she said to me. It's always better when you don't need a surgeon. Since surgery was her profession, this statement encouraged me. It seemed to show that she really did care. But when it can't be avoided. So it's best to keep all your parts and better when you don't need a surgeon. But sometimes some parts can't be saved. And that right there is a miracle of modern medicine, especially when it comes to spinal decompression. If you have a herniated disc in your back, you would be looking at a discectomy, removal of the afflicted disc. If you have a narrowed spinal canal that's putting pressure on the spinal cord or nerve roots, your surgery would be a laminectomy, which removes the back wall of the spinal canal and thus creates more space for the spinal cord. Decompression surgery is used for the treatment of radicular pain, spondylosis, stenosis, and other conditions that cause nerve compression. Recovering from decompression surgery. As recoveries from surgeries go, recovery from surgical decompression is typically fairly brief, but it does vary depending upon age and health. As with any surgery, your level of nutrition, having good amounts of necessary supportive vitamins and nutrients in your body, will have a great impact on how fast your body will heal. Also, if any kind of exercise is possible prior to surgery, do it. Obviously, listen to your doctors and whatever their recommendations might be. But if nothing else, simple strengthening exercises like arm and leg lifts could help your body out considerably. After surgery, you will undergo physical therapy and also be given exercises to do on your own at home. Do them. Nothing else will help you feel better faster and start a new life not dictated by pain. To find out more information on topics like this, please go to www.healthsourceofdiamondbar.com.